Hey guys, if you hear a whole bunch of little deet deet deets, it's raining outside, so sorry, but I don't control the weather. So we're going to go ahead and do miscellaneous 200, and it goes slash bin slash firmware version. So obviously, if there's nothing before that, you're either it's either going to be 107.170.164.77 slash bin, or it's going to be this slash bin. So let's go ahead and do slash bin and not found. Okay, so let's go ahead and I remember that's HTTPS, so really I'm not going to copy it. I'm just going to slash bin this. And ba bam! I know you're tired of me saying ba bam, but too bad. It's my video. Alright, so here it says index of bin and it has a firmware dot bin. So of course we're gonna go ahead and save the file. And we don't need this anymore so we're just gonna close that out. We're gonna shrink this down and I have conveniently already put it on my desktop. Um, it went to my downloads folder. We're gonna open up the terminal Okay, now, um, I tried to do a lot of Google Foo with this one, a lot, because, you know, I tried the strings command, I tried ver and version, and of course it just pops up with that. I tried some hex editors that was no good. I looked and I looked and finally I'm like you know what what's a smart girl gonna do? So I asked the person who created the challenge Raven and I'm like hey what on earth did you use because I know it's <laughs> there's a something that I'm not getting there's some program or something and he said bin walk and binwalk is a really cool program and right here it just says binwalk is a fast easy to use tool for analyzing reverse engineering and extracting firmware versions installation and then it goes on and there's a lot of different things that you can use been walked for, but in this particular instant, we're obviously going to be using binwalk to extract the firmware version. So you could always do a dash dash help, and it'll tell you that this is too small, is what it'll tell you. And it'll give you a whole bunch of different options. So, again, love the dash dash help stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and do bin walk firmware dot bin and I didn't use any filters or anything and right up here it says firmware header firmware version and so we're going to go ahead and copy that but yep so bin walk is a really cool little tool And when you put it in, it's correct. So that is the bin challenge. We'll see you in the next video.